this is Jim Lakey with news announcements for St. John and Maxville, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and SandyLandCenter.org, our website. <coughs> Today is uh, Tuesday, it's the 17th of January already, and it's 39 here in the square at noontime. And after having one of the worst sets of weather that I've seen, and all the time I've been here in uh, St. John, this week is going to be a much better week. And we're thankful for that. So today, it will be partly cloudy. And of course here in the square it's 39 now, but it will go up to about 44. Then tonight it will only be down to 28. And then uh, tomorrow, uh, it won't get below freezing at all, so it'll start off cloudy and get sunny by the end of the day. It'll be 48 for the high temperature and 33 for the low. Then uh, Thursday is 49 for the high temperature, cloudy, and 31 for the low. And then it goes a little more like normal on uh, Friday, cloudy. 44 the high, but 26 the low. And then on Saturday, a beautiful sunny day, 54 the high and 35 the low, right now in January. And then on Sunday, we're going to have rain and not snow or ice. We're going to have rain, a 70% chance of rain Saturday, uh, Sunday rather. And uh, it'll be 47 for the high, 29 for the low. Again, with that 70% uh, chance of rain. And perhaps if it hasn't already melted, the warm rain will take all of that off what's left of our trees. <coughs> and uh, we have uh, some birthdays uh, and an anniversary on uh, Thursday. Larry and Luann Fisher have an anniversary, happy anniversary. And on Friday, Gabriel Roach has a birthday. So happy birthday, Gabriel. And you get much better weather for it than we've been having. <coughs> so that's really the main news in our city right now, is this terrible ice storm. And there were power losses to individual houses. There were power losses to individual sections of the city. I know section four where I was, we had our power out for a while. And I know of at least one place where the electric things that fell down out of the sky started fires. I know there was at least one and I saw smoke in a couple other places but wasn't able to be able to go and see what happened. So what a terrible storm and it really has uh, done quite a job on us and I think the city crew and there were a lot of volunteers out and it, they did a fantastic job taking care of the, the roads and uh, taking uh, branches that were leaning on wires and doing all those things to help make it uh, better than it would be if it hadn't been for all the work that they did. So thank you to the volunteers and the people who are out there and thank you to the city employees uh, for all the hard work that they have. and. Uh, it just was a bad storm. I hope that that's going to be uh, uh, the worst one we have in the next 50 years. Well, anyway, other things going on. Uh, again, uh, if you uh, have a way to get there, uh, you can go to the other senior center, the Witt Community Center, the Sunflowers, and go walking at 1.30 to 2 uh, every day. And uh, they go out and they walk around the skating rink, I believe. And you can use uh, walkers and canes allowed on the floor if you uh, use one of those. So this is 
especially for seniors, but it wouldn't hurt any of us uh, to go out and walk. I'm always uh, getting into trouble with my doctors because I don't go out and walk enough. But this is a good opportunity over there at the Sunflowers. Uh, I think most days, uh, Monday through Thursday, you can go over there and walk from 1.30 to 2. Uh, let's see, then we have some uh, recreational things. <clears throat> On Thursday, two days from now, uh, is another trip to the Sawyer Family Food Store. And uh, the first time they went, everybody had a really great time, and so I'm sure there are some of you who have heard about this uh, food store in Soya, and you might like to go see it. Well, call up the Recreation Commission and, and uh, get a reservation on the bus. They leave at 1045 from the Recreation Commission, and they may also stop at Simply Southwest in Pratt, coming back from the food store in Sawyer. The cost is $7 or the gasoline and then whatever bulk food you want to buy, bakery, grocery stuff, uh, all kinds of deli uh, out there in Sawyer. Then, uh, of course, uh, I haven't heard, and I'm going to have to call up, I guess, and find out so I have a better set of news uh, on uh, Thursday for you. But there's movie night, and it's somewhere in some movie, and they're waiting to see what the movies are going to be before they pick out where they're going to go and uh, which movie is going to be the one that they see. So stay tuned, and that would be Saturday on the 28th when they do that. And then our final uh, bit of news is our menu for the sunflowers at the senior center over there. And today they're having herb baked chicken, uh, baked potato with toppings, spinach, bread, and peach crisp. Then uh, they have uh, creamed uh, turkey tomorrow breaded uh, tomatoes, green beans, biscuit, and a brownie, and fruit cocktail. And on Thursday, porcupine meatballs, uh, noodles, corn, tomato slice, and a roll. And on Friday, breaded pork chop, boiled potato, pork gravy, and Brussels sprouts. So, if you're able to get out, and I think you can because uh, the city has done a really great job with the sidewalks and the, and the roads, and uh, so get out there at lunchtime, and you have to let them know you're coming the day before. So if you don't have a plan today, I would call them up right now and make a plan for tomorrow. Well, uh, the word of the day is this, <clears throat> in spite of what God knows about us, and that is more than we know about ourselves. He still loves us. This is uh, Jim Lakey saying that we're very thankful that God loves us and for his care over those in our city.